It's just gotten too expensive to eat out, and Chipotle is one of the popular places, and I just cannot afford to take my family to eat there. So we are going to create the Chipotle bowl experience at home for way less money. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Juicy. I'm gonna show you the three most popular items that you can recreate, and they are going to be exactly the same, if not a little bit better, probably a little bit better, than the OG. What? Probably a little better. <laughs> I'm giving you copycat chipotle chicken, cilantro lime rice, and the chipotle honey vinaigrette. And a couple bonus items along the way. Yesterday, I had to do a little research. If I'm trying to recreate, I've gotta do my research. I got the chicken burrito bowl. I like that they use thigh meat. It's just simple, clean, simple, but expensive. Don't taste that much chipotle. I would like a little more kick. I think I could do you one better. Let me get to my research. That bowl, which was a really hearty portion, was over 13 bucks. These groceries are roughly about the same amount. We can do this on a budget. I'm gonna start with the chicken and get it marinating. I mean, if my family of five went to Chipotle, we're looking, I just got garlic in my hair. Close, you know, at least 80 bucks probably because you don't get chips with your meal. You don't get drinks with your meal. We've got drinks at home and we've got tequila at home. I'm using the boneless, skinless chicken thigh for this. That's what they use. It's cheaper and it's a lot harder to mess this up and overcook it. Then straight into the bag, the garlic. I'm going to go in with two peppers, a little bit spicy, but it adds this kind of rich smokiness that I just love. A couple tablespoons of the sauce. And then a few tablespoons of oil. They use like neutral oil in most everything they have. Cumin, I need some cumin. Laura, is there cumin down? Is it down? Probably. Okay. All right, in with some cumin. It's also gonna add a little smoky, earthy note. Some dried oregano, a little bit of salt and pepper. Now a couple tablespoons of just white vinegar. And, where's my honey? Laura, do you know where my honey is? Honey. Any honey? Oh, right here. How dare people put it where it goes. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Safety. I've wanted to use that for so long. Anywho, our chicken and our marinade in one beautiful package. And then just get it all up in there. You can just look at that and see the flavor in there. This you want to marinate for at least a few hours, ideally overnight. We'll get the rice going. The rice is a cilantro lime rice. It's not that strong in flavor. It does have that kind of hint of acidity. There's not much cilantro in there. So I might be adding more cilantro in my bowl. All right, come over hither. This is my foolproof way to cook rice if you don't want sticky gummy rice. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit of olive oil. And I like to saute my rice. When the oil coats each grain of rice, it keeps it from sticking together. Now they're all gonna stay separated and fluffy. I'll also go ahead and salt it at this point. Okay, once you kind of see all those grains are coated with oil, they start to become a little less opaque. And that's when we add in our water. So I've got one and a half cups of rice in there to three cups of water. And the only other thing they add is a bay leaf. Just give it a stir and bring it up to a boil. And then at the very end when it's done is when we stir in our lemon, our lime, and our cilantro. See how easy? We wouldn't have even made it to the restaurant by now. Chipotle honey vinaigrette is one of their like biggest copycat recipes I remember seeing like a ton of because you can mix it with sour cream and make even a more special sauce. Here's their version. And then I'm gonna create the copycat. This was a little sweeter than I remembered, a little thicker. This predominantly tastes like honey. I wanna get more of all the other flavors in here. So I'm going in with those chipotles again with a tablespoon of the sauce. This is also what's gonna give it that good color. One clove of garlic, teaspoon of dried oregano, two tablespoons of honey, and then six tablespoons of red wine vinegar, half a teaspoon of cumin, and then a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Okay, and that's everything. And now I will drizzle the oil in as I whip this up. Let's give her a taste. Yes. 
This is gonna be good on our bowls, but you can also just keep this on hand for your other salads. Drizzle it on some sandwiches, drizzle it on some grilled chicken or something. I'm just going to add it to a little jar. All we gotta do is cook our chicken and build our bowls. See how easy this is? Rice is done. Here's what it looks like. Whoa! Did I fog you up? I'm just going to fluff it up with a fork. Let me chop up my cilantro. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the juice of one lime and then a little bit of lemon. I'm gonna stir in my cilantro. It's about to come together beautifully. The rest of this is customizable, whatever you like. In my bowl, I like to add the fajita peppers and onions. So I'm just gonna whip those up real quick, as well as guacamole. I got two avocados for the same price to add one serving of guacamole onto your bowl. Cooking this chicken is super easy. I like to do it in a cast iron skillet. And then I'm gonna place the chicken thighs like top side down and we're just gonna leave them. We're gonna cook this undisturbed. Just leave it alone, crank it up. Shall we go get a cocktail while we wait? So I'm not tempted to, to mess it up. Although, don't try this at home. Don't walk away from your stove. I will not be responsible for your house fire. What about a Corona Sunrise? Sound good? I don't know if you can get beer at Chipotle, but you can't get tequila. You can't get margaritas. You have to drink some first. Add in some tequila. I don't know if that was too much. I don't know how much you're supposed to do. I'm going two limes. Now for the sunrise. Cheers. Mm, delightful. Okay, let's check on that chicken. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. All that honey making that crust. What I like to do is now move it to the oven at 350 until it's cooked through. Are y'all excited? Oh, y'all, look at this. That is $7.70 chicken. Let it rest to keep those juices in. We're slicing it up, building our bowls. This is about to get real good. You're really going to see the value of what you just did. Juicy. I mean, I don't understand when people say they don't like the thigh meat. That's where the flavor is. And look how much chicken. I mean, they probably give you like half a thigh. We're getting like six whole huge chicken thighs for $7.50. Here's how I make my perfect bowl. Down with the rice, some beans. Let's go in with our chicken next. The peppers and the onions. Cheese and sour cream. Fresh pico, our guacamole, our sour cream, our special vinny. And then I'm gonna do a little cilantro. Y'all, she is pretty and she weighs a lot. Now they gave you a hearty portion. This is definitely a hearty portion. And I have enough left to make everybody here a bowl. Let me make y'all a bowl. Oh, what's that you say? You want double meat? Sure. And that'll be no extra charge. Look at that. They all get extra meat. And I still have meat left over. It just keeps growing. And I'm not being skimpy, in case you can't tell. Vinaigrette. This looks good. Boom. Boom. Yes! I feel like I just won a competition. Since I have the original fresh on my mind from yesterday's actual purchase, let's see how I did. Mmm. Mmm. You're gonna love this. 15 out of 10. Chipotle bowls at home are just gonna be way better, way cheaper, and way more fun. I hope you'll give one of these copycat recipes a try. I'll be happy to go up against the original any day. This thing, we'll see how much this weighs, just for funsies. Okay, the bowl weighs 1.3 ounces. You're getting a full pound and a half of food in each bowl. Well, that's good. Oh my God. <laughs> it's heavy. 